So in the last video, we made it up to this point. So essentially, you can say that we're pretty much done. So we found where we can express d in terms of this expression, and that we know all the values within this expression, the k and l, uh, they're both dependent on the energy level, uh, the allowed energy levels. And then we can use this equation to derive the allowed energy levels. So you can say that uh, if we solve this equation, we get the allowed energy levels, and then we just plug those energy levels back into this, this expression, and then we can just take the reciprocal, and then we would have, would have essentially found the constant d. So you can say that we're actually done. But then we can actually use this equation to further simplify this expression into a nicer form. So we're going to use this equation to further simplify this expression. So that's what it, the rest of this video is going to be focusing on. So we're going to try to further simplify this expression over here. So the first thing I'm going to do is that instead of writing k, I'm going to replace this by L tangent LA. And then for sine 2 LA, I'm going to use the double angle formula. So sine 2x is equal to 2 sine x cosine x. So that's this is the expression I'm going to use. So sine 2 LA is going to be equal to 2 sine LA times cosine LA and divided by 2L plus A. So you see the twos, they cancel out. And then for this tangent LA, I'm going to, I'm going to express this as sine LA divided by cosine LA. So this gives me cosine to the power of 3 LA. So d squared. So now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to pull out some terms. So I'm going to pull out cosine LA, and then I'm also going to pull out the L in the denominator, and sine LA as well. So by doing this, uh, what remains in the bracket is that we have a cosine square LA. And for this term, we've pulled out a cosine LA, and then we've pulled out a sine LA in the denominator. So we need to multiply an extra sine LA in the numerator, which gives us sine square LA. And of course, sine squared plus cosine squared, this is just equal to 1. So we can just ignore this term. So in the end, we get something like this. So this whole expression here is equal to the absolute value of d squared a plus... So we have cosine LA divided by sine LA. So I can just express this as L tangent LA. So remember, sine divided by cosine is equal to tangent. And then L tangent LA, that's just equal to k. And you can see that I can express everything in a much cleaner expression. So compared to this, obviously this result that we have is a lot cleaner. And then we know that this is equal to 1, so this is equal to 1. So that implies that d is equal to 1 over the square root of a plus 1 over k. And then this also implies that because d and f are, are related by this formula, we found d, so we can just multiply these terms to our d to get the f. And so that means f is equal to e to the power of ka cosine la divided by the square root of a plus 1 over k. And so there we have it. So in, when we're dealing with xi of x, we have this equation that would allow us to deduce what the energy levels are. Once we've deduced what the energy levels are, we just take the energy levels, we get our k and our l, and then we substitute it into these two formulas, which gives us f and d. And then using those values of f and d, we would have a xi of x that is normalized.